and welcome back to my channel in today's video I am tackling this disgusting shower so if you weren't here for my last time I did this which was quite a while ago um, this shower is gross but some of it is like can't be helped like this right here this is a rental that was remodeled and they just didn't do a good job as you can see they didn't even paint that bottom like quarter round or anything like that all the caulk is like not been updated it's just old and it needs to be replaced so it's stained and so not all of this is going to come up but i have also been really bad at neglecting the shower and i have not cleaned it how it needs to be so there's also hair and dirt and pink slime <laughs> so pink slime or pink mold is actually not mold at all it's actually a bacteria so I'm gonna show you guys how I got rid of that and talk a little bit about that and also how we got rid of the mildew in the shower and I'm also gonna discuss ways to prevent the mildew from coming back and just taking better care of the shower which is my goal so as I'm just showing you guys how gross the shower is I'm gonna go ahead and introduce myself in case you're new my name is Christina I'm married to my husband Aaron we've been married for 15 years we have two girls Lexa who's five and Kenzie who's three on this channel you'll find lots of cleaning decluttering organization and mindset motivation I've changed my content a little bit for 2023 just to make it a lot more chatty these are the kind of videos I like to watch so I hope you guys enjoy them as well I just love Love feeling like I'm cleaning alongside a friend when I watch cleaning videos so if you like people who are just gonna talk your ear off the whole video and you can put this video on and work for however long it is and just feel like the time flew by then you were in the right place and I hope that you will subscribe and make sure you turn on your notification bells because I post twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays but let's go ahead and get into it so I'm starting out by just using some regular household items like cleaning vinegar that I put into a spray bottle some bleach and I actually ran out of bleach so all I had was bleach and water so that's a bleach and water mixture and then some baking soda I'm gonna show you guys how I'm combining these to make um, different things for each purpose now with the vinegar I like I said started by putting it in a spray bottle and this hack that I found on a blog was that if you put paper towels all along the door or the glass anywhere you have glass in your shower and then you spray the vinegar it's going to keep the vinegar on there and not drip down and therefore allow it to penetrate deeper to remove soap scum from the glass so that was what I was doing here I know this is a lot of paper towels but I wanted to give it a try and see if it worked I actually did in my last video use just straight vinegar without the paper towel method um, and it worked but not completely so I wanted to try giving this a go just to see if it made a difference since I I had tried the vinegar on its own so I'm just gonna go ahead and coat all of the glass I did cut out some of the footage here because it was so much you guys don't see me do all of it but I'm just showing you how I went around and took care of all the glass and then I'll be back to show you guys what I did for the mildew and the pink mold so since I will be working with bleach later on in this video the first thing I did was put on my raunchy paint and clothes that already have paint all over them and maybe some bleach stains as well pulled my hair up and opened up all the windows for ventilation I bet you don't even know my name but that's okay I can't blame you you've got better things to worry about like kissing strangers when you go out spending time with all your friends wish I had the guts to ask you out sometime but I know be. But if I am allowed to dream, and it was you and me, then I would laugh with you all night. Take my chance and hold you close, and I'll follow you back home. If I could be somebody else, I would be your Romeo, and I would never let you go. Maybe I could be your stranger
So the vinegar was supposed to sit for 30 minutes and then the other stuff I'm gonna be doing is going is supposed to be setting for like an hour. But I did the vinegar step first because I didn't wanna be breathing in all of the fumes from the bleach while I did the vinegar. So that's why I started there even though technically the other stuff is supposed to sit longer and I just let the vinegar sit the whole time as well. So um, for the mixture to get rid of mold, this is supposed to remove mold from your caulk. And the mixture is actually a half a cup of bleach and one cup of baking soda. And you wanna mix it up to get it to the consistency of toothpaste. Now, you guys will see I kinda went overboard with my bleach water mixture because this is something my husband uses. I don't know what he uses it for, but he's always had a bleach water. And I've actually never asked him what he uses this for, so. <laughs> We'll keep some mystery in our relationship, right? So I put way too much and I had to put a bunch more baking soda. So it was a little bit wasteful here, but if you guys will just measure it out according to the recipe, you might do better. I just, like I said, wasn't sure because I had water mixed with my bleach. But if you're using straight bleach, it's, it's gonna basically be one part bleach to two parts baking soda. So half a cup of bleach, then you use a cup of baking soda. Then you're supposed to take this mixture and just lather it all over anywhere that you have mold on your caulk specifically. And then you're supposed to wait for 30 minutes and then see how it lightens and then wait for another 30 minutes. Now, I personally just went ahead and went straight for the full hour. Now, before I started all of this, I opened the windows in my bedroom and I turned on the fan and that helped a lot. So I wanted, I didn't want to forget to give you guys that tip. Make sure that you do go and open any windows you have, turn on any vents you have before you start this process. And now you laugh with me all night. Took my chance and held you close And I followed you back home No need to be somebody else I can be a Romeo And I will never let you go So I'm showing you guys here, I had a mixture of soap and water that I always use in my kitchen um, that I sprayed all over the pink mold and then this bleach water all over the pink mold. Like I said, the pink mold is actually not mold, it's bacteria, but several things I saw had said mix soap and bleach, so that's why I just did that instead. Um, I didn't have straight bleach, so I just did soap water and then sprayed the bleach water on top and I let that set while I went ahead and put my paste mixture all over the rest of this. Um, of course, I am wearing gloves and I just tried not to stay in this room too much. I did a couple of times kind of stick my head out the room and take a breath while I was doing this. But here is a look um, on how it's going. I did it all along this little ledge here on the inside and the outside of the track door. And like I said, some of this was staining, so I wasn't sure how much was gonna come up, but I just went ahead and gave it a go, especially since I made so much of that mixture. I had a lot to work with. I just left the room and waited an hour and then I came back and started going ahead and removing the paper towels with the vinegar and I saved those so I could use those later on. They actually were almost completely dry just from sitting there and so I decided to use those paper towels um, just to not be as wasteful, use them a second time in the shower when I go to clean up all of the bleach mixture. Then as you can see here, of course, I sprayed down the shower when I was done with the vinegar mixture just to get the rest of the, vin the vinegar off of it. Um, as you guys can see, it helped, but it did not do the trick fully. I would say this didn't really work any better than just spraying vinegar on there by itself. So definitely go ahead and save yourself some paper towels. If you're gonna use the vinegar method, just spray it on there and wipe it off. Um, then I used this old kitchen sponge that I was done with and I was gonna to toss. I decided to go ahead and use it here in the bathroom and just started um, removing my mixture. Like I said, it's set for a, an hour, a little bit more. I was actually supposed to scrub this with a toothbrush, but I totally forgot. Now there's some pink slime in the door as well. So I showed you guys a quick the overview of the pink slime a few moments ago. And that, I keep calling it pink slime. I guess people call it different things. Pink mold, pink slime. Like I said, it is a bacteria. I will put the name on the screen. It's virtually harmless for most people. Um, like it's not gonna make you sick in the way that black mold will, but as you guys know, any kind of bacteria that grows from like things being damp and wet, it's not supposed to be there. So it's not good bacteria. If you have a compromised immune system, it can um, cause you trouble. For most people, it won't, but obviously we don't wanna just leave bacteria if we can get rid of it. So any soap and water will get rid of the pink slime. That stuff came right up. I have just washed it out before with um, 
you know, soap and water, no big deal. I don't think you really need anything special to remove that. I was just trying to make sure that I killed the bacteria um, to prevent it from coming back next time. So I'm just going to show you guys really quickly. I use this cleaner from the Dollar Tree to um, kind of just spray everything. It's blue and then it turns white when it's ready to scrub. And I use this little handy dandy thing that I've shown you guys before that I got off of Amazon to scrub. And it's not super powerful, but it's definitely better than um, being on your hands and knees trying to scrub. I always struggle with what angle to go at the floor with. So that's what you guys see me doing that there. Um, but that was just to kind of mix everything in. I probably should have scrubbed the bleach mixture. And I'm showing you guys to be really careful if you get those attachments that go on the drill I showed that as well you guys I skint my hand up it hurt so bad you're a guilt trip feeding me with all these lies I feel sick you're a bad choice that I made five years ago at some party in New York I decided to go ahead and just scrub all around where the pink mold stuff was and I'm just using a cup of water just to rinse it off so I can see um, that I am getting it all up and this came up great now to prevent this pink bacteria pink mold pink slime Whatever you want to call it from coming back in the future What you want to do is do you want to try to avoid it staying moist now here? I am just putting a little bit of soap and water all around this because I had some pink slime on it as well And I'm using my little drill bit extension thing now. These are super powerful, but like I said be really careful You could hurt yourself. I actually this is the impact drill and it works totally different than our regular drill and that's why I try to take the piece off and I skip myself because I have one that's bigger and I was going to use it but after I hurt myself that bad my hand was killing me for the rest of the day I was like you know what forget it so I just left that one on there but um yeah be careful with those those are super powerful because obviously the drill motor is way more powerful than the little white thing that I use from Amazon that thing works great just to keep you from having to be on your hands and knees but if you need to take care of a really stuck on job then you could definitely try out those drill bits I will link everything down below I think everything I got is from Amazon if not I'll just make a note where I got it from I know that one cleaner was from the Dollar Tree so anyway just kind of showing you guys what this looks like I wanted to give one last go on the shower door to try my best to get this scum off um, soap scum off and I had told you guys previously that Aaron had given me like I think my last shower cleaning video Aaron had given me this like grit stuff to try that is what I'm gonna try next on the door at this point I was getting sick of it and I was like does anybody even want to see this I'm sick of doing it <laughs> so anyway if you guys are um, with me here and you're cleaning your shower let's do it together because the bathroom is probably my least favorite job I am just rinsing that stuff off after I scrubbed it. I'm going to show you guys in a minute. It helped, um, but I have noticed in the past that when I rinse my shower, I will think it looks great. And then later on, once it dries, it doesn't look good. So this time I decided to use a squeegee that I got from the Dollar Tree um, like probably two a year or two ago and I totally forgot I lost it and um, I was gonna leave it in the shower because I've heard people say like hey if you squeegee your shower off every time after you get out of the shower it helps prevent you know build up and stuff like that so it'll be easier to clean and um, I finally found it so now I used it today on this and you guys can see there is actually a massive improvement from the vinegar solution to this so it did do something but you can also kind of see it's always hard to catch this on camera that it didn't fully do it now i didn't do any of the other glass i just did the door because i was done with it at that point but the rest of the glass is not as bad as the door so anyway that is where i am leaving that and i'm just going to move on to the tub the tub had some of that pink mold bacteria on it as well so i just wanted to take all of the girls toys and things out of there and then just give it a really good wipe down and then we would be done in here i do a couple of other little spot wipes but i didn't even do anything else in the bathroom this day. I, I had already cleaned the toilets the day before, just randomly cleaned the toilets, and I just was done. <laughs> so this is what you get today. So I didn't actually use any bleach on the bathtub. I just kind of rinsed it down with, a, I got like a cup of, you know, of water. <laughs> actually, this is a 
a cut in half shampoo container or something but I just uh, wetted it down because it was really dusty and then I used that rest of that spray from Dollar Tree I was actually trying to use this up since I'm moving I'm trying to go through a lot of my cleaning products and I did run out of that stuff so then I just used my soap and water mixture on the rest and then I scrubbed it all around with the little um, handy dandy thing I got off of Amazon and um, since my girls uh, like sit in this tub this is where they bathe every day we have a small bathtub upstairs but they prefer this one and you know it's easier for my husband and I to help them bathe in here because there's a lot more space um I don't let this get too dirty it's mainly like the areas around it like this windowsill ledge and stuff that get neglected so the actual tub just needed a quick wipe down but it really was not that bad because like I said I take better attention of this since they're sitting in it something about the shower you're standing in it and so it's easier I don't know for me you guys let me know if you're the same way but it's easier for me to neglect the shower because I'm not actually sitting in it if I had to go sit in the shower I'd probably be a lot better at um, keeping it clean <laughs> but that is one of my goals for the next house is to keep it nice I love having a fresh new start um, and something brand new I just feel like it's so much more motivating to keep it clean it can be so hard when you have something that is already old and worn down and then you're trying to keep it clean and it doesn't look good even when you're done so if that's you I totally understand and I feel you but you still just need to try to do your best as much as you can but I totally understand the feeling of like why even bother because it looks gross when I'm done but at least if you're getting rid of bacteria and stuff even if it still looks dirty if you know it's clean you're doing something right <laughs> I know that you're trying to fix me, but I don't want to be like you If you want to take it back to the 50s, maybe I'm not the guy for you You're dying not to work, but work until you die, you know that's true Have you thought it through? Cause you love to tell me what to do Say no, I'm not like you, I don't think that you get it so much for watching today's video i hope that it motivated you to get something done around your house or just made you feel less alone while you were cleaning like you were cleaning with a friend and made the time pass faster for you um stay tuned i have lots of awesome motivation coming if you're new don't forget to subscribe on your way out give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it leave me a comment down below let me know what you'd like to see from me next all of that um really helps my channel out a lot and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.